any moment now we're going to go under the red kite and we're going to unleash this sprint who's going to take it because this has been some setup 1000 meters to go well, it's De Corning Quickstep in the blue jersey. Alongside them is UAE Team Emirates in the white jersey. Group Arm FDG locked on the left-hand side of the road. They accelerate as they want to try and give Arno Demare a clear run to the finish. They start to get a little bit boxed in, but where is Jasper Philipson of Alpacin Fenix? He's still there on the wheel. Here we go now with De Corning Quickstep getting themselves ready for this sprint. Philipson is there, Jakobsen is there, Matthews on the wheel of Matthews is Minali. This is going to be a very fast sprint as they start to kick around this right hand bend. Arnold Demar is getting set and Minali leans on Michael Matthews. Here goes Jakobsen. Jakobsen going straight for the line like an arrow. Dainese is challenging in the middle. Jakobsen takes his second stage win for De Koinic Quick Step. Dainese again was challenging, so was Philipson, but this time it was just pure power. Straight down the middle of the road, no deviation, go for the gantry, and Jakobsen just got that right today. What a great laid out by the De Koinig Quick Step team. All the riders there, Cherny earlier on doing a massive amount of work to bring that one home. Also, we think back way early in the stage, James Knox riding for a long, long time. Philipson having to come from a, a long way back, had to try and close a bike length, but Dainese was coming up very, very fast in the black jersey, unable to actually get on terms, and Jordi Moose there for DSM. He's just been beaten by Jakobsen. That's all. He's only uh, getting closer. That lead out though by Florian Seneschal into that right hand curve was perfect. Seneschal just taking that right hand turn. All he had to do then was just move over and Jakobsen could go right for the middle. Yeah, taking it quite wide as well, meaning that he could carry a lot of speed through that uh, that corner that he wouldn't become boxed in either for uh, Fabio Jakobsen. So making sure that he's given him enough space and you see the, uh, the celebrations there from Florian Seneschal with number 95 on his back. But he just made sure that he gave uh, Fabio Jakobsen that clear run to the finish line with no other riders to uh, contest with. He wasn't boxed in. He had that power lunge for the line. And a clear win for Fabio Jakobsen.